Hello guys, it's Simon here. Today we're going to go over the normal distribution curve. So this is what a normal distribution curve looks like. It goes from all the way to, from negative infinity to its mean on the top and then all the way to positive infinity. It's uh, symmetric and each normal distribution curve is uh, identified by its mean and standard deviation. So the IQ normal distribution curve, for example, like the average IQ uh, in the world is um, 100, the mean's 100, the standard deviation is 15, and um, if we want to find the probability that a person has an IQ of 90 or less, we can use our calculator to do that. So, first you turn it on, then you clear everything, and um, no, you don't have to clear everything. So first, second, variables, then you go to normal CDF, and then you plug in the, the lower boundary, and since it goes all the way to infinity, we have to just use a really small value. And uh, so I, I like to use negative 1 times 10 to the 99. Then you plug in the upper boundary, and we wanted to find 90. So, um, comma 90. Then you plug in the mean, and then the standard deviation. Mean was 100, standard deviation was 15. And this is the probability that a person lands within, or this area, wait, I'm going to draw it, lands within this area, and that's, and that's the probability that a person has, a, a randomly selected person has an IQ of 90 or less, and it's this value right here. So there's also something called the inverse normal function on the calculator. What you do is first you go to second variables again and then inverse normal and you can use this to find like an x value of anything as long as you know the probability you know the mean and their standard deviation so let's just uh, make sure that the x value of this probability given here is 90 just like we found so first you plug in the probability I'm just plugging in the answer then the mean, then the standard deviation. So mean was 100, standard deviation was 15. And this is in fact 90. It's almost 90. So it works. So there's also this thing called a standard normal distribution. And um, this is a curve. It's a special curve in which the mean this looks like crap, but, um, yeah, the mean, oh no, it's like this. Mean is zero, and the standard deviation are equal, is equal to one. And, um, yeah, just ignore this picture right here. So, and, um, also what's special about it is that the x value, the x value is equal to this thing. That's mean, that's standard deviation. And um, so it's equal to the x value of a normal distribution curve with this mean and this standard deviation. So, and um, by the way, the z is just, that's just a sign for standard normal for this curve. So, yeah. So the standard normal distribution, it can be used to find either the mean or the standard deviation of any normal distribution curve as long as you know one of them and you know the probability of a given x value so for the let's say that we don't know that the standard deviation of the IQ distribution curve is 15 <clears throat> then so wait now I'm gonna write down every, all the things you know we know mean is a hundred and that we know that the probability that a person has 90 or less IQ we know that's equal to, uh, it was like 0 0.2525 or something. That's what it was. 
it says 0 0.255 to 5. And so now, watch this. You can um, do the inverse normal. Let's use a standard distribution one. First, we plug in that probability, 0.2525. Then, we do the ones for a standard normal one, where mean was 0 and standard deviation was 1. Now the value, now this is the z, this is the z value, this is the value what, uh, for which the probability is this much. It was negative this thing, so that's the same as that. So we have negative 0 0.6666. 433049 is equal to x, the value on the normal distribution curve, the x value was 90 minus the mean was 100 over standard deviation. And we said we didn't know this one, it's actually 15, but yeah, we, d we don't know it yet. And, um, so then you can use algebra to solve for a standard deviation. 90 minus 100 over that thing. And um, that's actually going to give you 15. It's not going to give you exactly 15 because I didn't use the exact probability. Like I said, it was 0.25 to 5. But, um, yeah. It's gonna uh, so that's how you can find either standard deviation. If you knew the standard deviation and not the mean, then you could have just solved for the mean right here. And uh, yeah, that's all you need to know for standard normal distribution and normal distribution. So I know this is like a lot of information at once, but um, you just have to practice that you can get used to this, and uh, that's how you succeed. You just gotta practice. So thank you guys for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,